I welcome you all to the next lecture in our anthropology series. So today, uh, first before we start, uh, yesterday we had done the cold stress, right? And uh, before that we had done the heat stress or how the populations, uh, you know, adapt themselves to extreme environments, so to say, right? Extreme environments and usme humne, we have studied about the cold stress and heat stress. Now, I want you to take uh, take you back to the heat stress wala topic. There, there is a, uh, you know, uh, I made a mistake there. So I want you to correct that. So I, I'll what I'll do is now I'll just uh, briefly explain it to you once again so that there is no confusion about it. Okay. So in the hot stress, when we were talking about the hot stresses, I told you that there is a homeostasis. That means the body, uh, our body tries to maintain a constant temperature, right? Because we are, we are complex organisms. That means we do not maintain our temperature according to the environment. Our body has our own environment and uh, sorry, our body has our own temperature that it tries to maintain. That means if 50 degrees Celsius or minus 10 degrees Celsius, hai, right? It doesn't matter. Our body maintains that constant temperature. And by mistake, I mentioned that uh, wrongly. I mentioned it, I think 23, 24 something. It is around 36 to 37 degrees Celsius. So that is the constant body temperature that we maintain. So it doesn't matter how much extreme cold or extreme hot the temperature is. We maintain the constant temperature because we are complex organisms not like the simple organisms who just try to uh, you know alter their in, uh, tem body temperature according to the in external environment and that external environment you can call the ambient temperature okay na so i hope there is no issue there i have uh, just corrected what i said that day the temperature is this much the ambient temperature is the outside temperature Okay, internal temperature you can just call uh, this constant temperature that is 36 to 37 degree Celsius. Wala. Okay, I hope there is no doubt in here. You can just uh, correct there, right? So, I have already told you that we have studied the cold stress and the uh, hot stress. But in cold, we have to study the cultural adaptations. That means we, we are dividing basically what we are doing is uh, we are studying if I have to make a uh, biocultural, if I have to write biocultural adaptations we are trying to study, right? In here, we have studied the cold stress, we have studied the hot stress, we have to study high altitude. Right. So, in hot stress, we studied, we studied the biological or physiological adaptation and cultural adaptation. This much we have done. Here, we had only done the physiological yesterday. We have to today do the cultural adaptation, right? So this is the topic for the day, right? And if if there is enough time, we can just start or give an overview to the high altitude also. So let's start now. So kal humne cold uh, stress mein baat ke tha. I will just re uh, revise it with you a little bit. We talked about how our body tries to adapt through our, uh, for example there is a heat low, uh, sorry the cold stress that is uh, uh, faced or experienced by our body okay, through the thermal receptors in the skin it triggers the hypothalamus in the brain right so after that what happens is the idea is to lower down the blood flow and it is done through vasco uh, vasoconstriction right and uh, through reduction in the heart rate so this is how we try to conserve the heat so this is the immediate, uh, you can say immediate reaction 
ठीक है इफ यू हैव टू टॉक अबाउट अ जेनेटिक चेंज उसमें वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द कोल्ड जीन्स दैट मीन्स सम पॉपुलेशन हैव द कोल्ड जीन्स द वंस हु लिव इन द कोल्डर रीजन्स सो दैट हेल्प्स देम टू प्रोटेक्ट देम अगेंस्ट एनी फ्रॉस्ट बाइट्स एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट देन देर इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ सबक्यूटेनियस फैट इन एस्कीमोज दैट प्रोवाइड देम विद इंसुलेशन दैट वी हैड स्टडीड अबाउट द एलन्स एंड बर्गमिनस रूल एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट आई थिंक वहाँ पर देर इज नो कन्फ्यूजन नाउ लेट स्टार्ट दैट हाउ डिफरेंट पॉपुलेशन एक्चुअली ट्राई टू कल्चरली अडेप्ट टू द कोल्ड एनवायरमेंट्स ठीक है ओके सो बेसिकली वॉट हैपन्स इज the diurnal nocturnal variation in the temperature exposed up, up these are examples that we are studying and and how different cultures adapt to the cold stresses differently okay so the diurnal nocturnal variation in the temperature exposes the aborigines of australia to heat stress during the day and moderate cold stress during the night so basically jaise hum if we talk about the rajasthan also right it is the same thing na some parts of rajasthan there is extreme hot climate in the day theek hai and then there is a you can say mild cold matlab udhar itni garmi ke baad to face cold in the night is extreme temperature right similarly it happens in the australian uh, aborigines also some part of australia also faces this diurnal nocturnal diurnal means the day nocturnal means the night so day and night variation is faced by them also ठीक है सो एज दे वियर नो क्लोदिंग ठीक है एंड ऑब्वियसली डिड नॉट बिल्ड शेल्टर नाउ दिस इज वॉट दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द ट्राइबल्स राइट दे आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल ऑफ देम ठीक है एंड एंड देर माइट बी सम पॉपुलेशन जो अभी भी हु आर लिविंग द सेम वे दैट मीन्स दे आर लिविंग नेकेड विदाउट क्लोदिंग विदाउट शेल्टर्स राइट द प्रिमिटिव वे ऑफ लिविंग सो द हीट अगेंस्ट द कोल्ड स्ट्रेस इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई फायर so in this case when they feel extreme cold what they do is they they use the bonfire and they try to uh, be around that fire and sleep there and through that they try to prevent them from the cold so this this uh, sleeping around the fire is uh, uh, this experience does vasoconstriction throughout the night which prevent them from ex- uh, excessive internal heat loss with no threat to frostbite so now what happens is basically vasoconstriction lower blood flow theek hai na so blood flow reduces theek hai this is one example that they uh, what is the cultural adaptation they are basically trying to uh, prevent themselves from the uh, with the help of the fire and this has now become a part of their culture right because they don't wear clothes they they sleep around a fire together so this is what this is a cultural adaptation then the bushmen of kalahari like the australian aborigines are exposed to moderate chronic cold stress during night and they have been uh, able to make the microclimate much like the australian aborigines so these are the examples that you have to quote pehli exam pehli the first thing that we have talked about is the uh, you can say the fire and sleeping around that so usme we have talked about the bushmen's and the australian aborigines then eskimos are the second group and what do they do let's let's see that now so eskimos basically occupy the northwestern coast of north america and across the bering strait of asia they they are well insulated housing known as the igloo so now basically if i have to show you on a map if we draw the north america theek hai niche ka i don't need to draw right and and if i have to draw the asia also right the other part i don't need to draw theek hai so you can just say that this region this region because the the obviously the world is uh not this down actually not here upper reaches only theek hai na so you can just call this is the region that they are living so you can clearly see ye thoda sa this is uh north this is the polar region 
ठीक है एंड इट्स वेरी कोल्ड देयर राइट सो दे दे लिव इन इग्लूज ओके सो इग्लू इज अ वेल इंसुलेटेड हाउसिंग ठीक है ना वॉट वॉट इज द थिंग इज दैट इन इग्लूज दे यूज सर्टन काइंड ऑफ अ मटीरियल टू मेक इट जैसे कि देर इज सील स्किन ठीक है एंड 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 देर इज सम काइंड ऑफ अदर मटीरियल्स दैट दे यूज अपार्ट फ्रॉम फॉर मेकिंग देयर हाउसेज सो दिस हाउसिंग स्ट्रक्चर परमिट्स ट्रैपिंग ऑफ एयर विच इन टर्न फर्दर प्रोवाइड्स दैम इंसुलेशन सो वॉट हैपन्स इज इफ दिस इज द इग्लू फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर इन द स्पेसिस ऑफ दिस हाउस द एयर गेट्स ट्रैप्ड ठीक है सो इट प्रिवेंट्स द आउटसाइड एयर फ्रॉम रीचिंग इन साइड एंड द इन साइड एयर फ्रॉम गोइंग आउटसाइड सो क्या होता है देर इज ट्रैपिंग ऑफ एयर सो सच एन एफिशियंट हीट एक्सचेंज मेकेनिज्म maintains between 10 degree to 21 degree for coastal eskimos despite sub zero environmental temperature so isse kya hota hai basically internal temperature of the house is somewhere 10 degree celsius to 20 degree celsius you can say so this is good bahar ka temperature is sub zero but inside the house it is very warm as compared to see kitna degrees of uh, you know uh, temperature they prevent just by their housing right and their housing is obviously a very very big part of their culture so if you feel ki how does culture affect a person and and adapting to its environment you can clearly see so when uh, you know if if uh, if we take back the def- uh, the discussion to how the anthropologists in the uh, or uh, you know in the earlier times were saying ki ek there is a universal or a unilinear way of evolution can we talk about it can we generalize it like that we cannot because we can clearly see there is so much of diversity in the cultures and how people respond to different stresses different things their environment right so this is also something that you can uh, you know think about so we have understood how eskimos or inuits you know behave so their clothing is another thing dekho humne housing ki baat kar liya we have talked about how fire is utilized by them to prevent uh, matlab the other tribes but like that and then we are talking about the clothing that is the third kind of cultural adaptation so their clothing is made of caribou theek hai which which provides higher insulation so kya hota hai basically uh, they use the skin of animals theek uh, hai also matlab you can just say it like that so that prevent uh, prevents them from a lot of uh you know insulation it gives them insulation right during the jaise for example hum bolte ki uh, you know that uh, there is uh, in in ladakh region and uh, jo it in upper reaches of kashmir and ladakh theek hai it's very cold there also so they use a chung thung wool so what is that that is the wool that is taken from this chung thung sheep right so what is that from that sheep they take out that uh, you know wool and they make uh, shawls and clothes of that so they are very warm so like that they use these eskimos use the caribou and its uh, wool theek hai na to make the clothing and that is another cultural adaptation theek hai then uh, if we have to talk about during their day daily activities jaise for example fishing their hands and feet are con- continuously subjected to cold stress but they experience intermittent periods of vasoconstriction and vasodilation which prevents frostbite in below freezing temperatures so now you can't even say uh, so much cold is there they can't sit back at home na obviously they have to sustain their living also that means they go out they do the usual activities like much like other people right so when they do the fishing or their daily activities theek hai na their hands feet are already and in the face also it is out in the cold environment so that that can make that 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 makes them susceptible to frost bites right extreme cold stresses but then their body has a mechanism of vasoconstriction vasodilation that we have studied yesterday so with that they are able to pre- prevent themselves then then comes the next point is diet traditionally they have highest animal protein and fat diet theek hai 
that than any other human population so they eat a lot of non vegetarian food because that gives them protein and fat and that keeps them insulated theek hai na such a diet necessitated by the available resource base serve to maintain the high metabolic rate because kya hota hai high metabolic rate we have talked about it uh, if metabolic rate is higher ha- more energy and heat is produced right so it it helps them insulate against the cold then the peruvian andes if we have to talk about the andes population the mountainous region and other mountain regions of south america are exposed to a variety of stresses including hypoxic cold low humidity high levels of self, uh, solar radiation that means dekho high altitude regions mein cold to hai hi hai right but then there are other problems and there are mix of many problems theek hai so high altitude we have to uh, as it is study also but just remember abhi hum cold ki baat kar rahe hain so in cold theek hai like the mountainous region when they are facing so many other problems cold is one of them ठीक है ना सो फॉर द द कोल्ड व्हाट दे डू इज इट रिक्वायर्स अ सिनर्जेटिक सिनर्जी ऑफ यू नो थिंग्स दैट मींस बिकॉज देयर आर सो मेनी अदर प्रॉब्लम्स लाइक सोलर रेडिएशन इज हाई ड्यूरिंग द डे राइट देयर इज लो ह्यूमिडिटी राइट देयर इज हाइपोक्सिक कंडीशन हाइपोक्सिक इज बेसिकली व्हेन देयर इज अ लैक ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एंड व्हेन इट इज नॉट एबल टू यू नो रीच टू द ऑर्गन्स एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट द proper definition we'll do when we'll do the high altitude uh, stresses you just focus on what i'm trying to say here theek hai so there are so many problems and there's a mix of problems and how they deal with it uh, with the help of their diet nutrition uh, you know genetics all of that theek hai so wahan pe aur bhi zyada problem hoti hai so so then they use as i told you housing bedding clothing nutrition diet there are a mix of uh you know uh, permutation combination that they use okay so i hope uh, yahan tak there is no di- uh, doubt about anything and i'm not starting today the high altitude because i want that to finish in one go so we'll do that tomorrow and i hope you guys like the lecture if you did guys please like share and subscribe any doubts please post in the comment sections below uh please uh, guys uh, post your uh, uh, you know uh, ideas for the pe- uh, previous year answer series also i'll be happy to uh, you know take up the questions that you wish me to and uh, guys thanks so much